welcome to everybody in today's class let us play with the atoms atoms are so small so tiny that they are invisible to our naked eye but still they contain some fundamental particles these are protons neutrons and electrons these particles are differently charged we know protons they are positively charged the electrons are negatively charged and then neutrons are electrically neutral if you take the atom as a whole an atom is electrically neutral or stable now let us imagine that we are having three baskets in which protons neutrons and electrons are kept separately by picking up those fundamental particles shall we build the atom of our own desired element or shall we check the atom to which it belongs to here is an interesting activity to know how to construct an atom with the help of the subatomic particles protons neutrons and electrons here we are having three baskets in which we are supposed to have protons neutrons and electrons respectively now here there is an atomic cloud which is invisible with the help of these uh, fundamental particles of atom we are going to build the atoms of different elements let us see how we are going to construct the atom of a particular element now in this basket which contain protons so i am taking one proton which is positively charged particle i am inserting the proton here yes i have inserted one proton you can see here the number of proton is one now an atom should contain equal number of electrons as that of the protons so it is one proton for one proton there should be one electron now it is an atom which contain one proton and then one electron let us see this in the orbital form yes the proton is in the nucleus and then the electron is in the orbit which revolves around the nucleus now right now i want to check which atom is this or which atom this is supposed to be if you check it in the periodic table you can see the red mark here so this atom is supposed to be the atom of hydrogen let us check whether it is hydrogen or not yes it is hydrogen so now as you know an atom is electrically neutral because it contain equal number of positive and negative charges so therefore let us check the neutrality of this atom yes this atom is neutral and one more thing is that an atom is stable let us check whether the nucleus is stable or not yes the nucleus of this atom is also stable so now let us see the net charge you observe the net charge here number of protons or number of negatively charged particles is equal to number of positively charged particles therefore the net charge is zero so and then if you observe the mass number the mass number is 1 because it contain one proton okay so now i am going to insert one neutron observe the mass number mass number is has become 2 now but the atom is still stable of course a hydrogen atom it doesn't contain proton but the isotope of hydrogen it contain proton so therefore so this is the isotope of hydrogen atom therefore it is also stable now one more neutron i want to put here and adding one more neutron to the nucleus now you can see it is not stable it is unstable that means this atom does not exist so therefore i am removing one neutron see with these fundamental particles by picking up different uh, uh, subatomic particles here we have constructed hydrogen and then we have understood the atomic properties of hydrogen now let us try with the different number of protons and different number of electrons now i am taking 
one proton, two, and then three, four, five. So I have inserted five protons in the atomic cloud. Now I am inserting equal number of electrons. Obviously, uh, we have to take equal number of electrons. One, two, three, four, five, then six. I mean, so here one shot. Six protons and then six electrons I have taken here. Let us see now. Yes, there are two electrons in the inner orbit here and then four electrons in the outer orbit. Totally six electrons within the nucleus. There are six protons. Let us check which element is this. So this is supposed to be carbon. Now let us see whether this element is carbon or not. Yes, this is. Carbon. Now let us see the net charge. The net charge is zero because there are equal number of protons and then electrons. Therefore, total charge is zero. Now the mass number. Mass number is six, but not the mass number is not six for the carbon atom. It is, as you know, there will be six neutrons. Yes, there are six neutrons. Observe here the mass number of carbon is twelve. Whether it is neutral or not, it is a neutral atom. And then let us check the stability. It is stable because it can withhold six neutrons. Let me insert one more neutron here. Yes, still it is stable because there is a carbon isotope. Which is having thirteen uh, mass number, mass number thirteen, and then see here. Now it is quite unstable, so therefore it is not so. So this is the neutral atom. Now the thing that I am going to do here is I am removing one electron. See what happens to this. This is the Carbon atom, of course, but the carbon atom has become carbon ion. Why? Because I have removed one electron, so there is net increase in a positive charge within the nucleus. There are six positive charges, but outside there are five negative charges. Therefore, one positive charge is there here. Therefore, the net charge is plus one. Therefore, it becomes carbo cation plus because as it carries plus the charge it is a cation so likewise we can try with the different number of protons and neutrons and electrons we can find out the atomic properties of different elements dear students hope that now it is not difficult for you to understand the main concept of atom atomic number atomic mass ions like that